What's up, bro, family? Hope all y'all doing all right out there. Been a rough week on your boy, so we're going to get right into it. A quick rundown of the strands. Uh, this M&M, which is Monster OG, crossed with Mango Kush, bred by Black Diamond Genetics, and everything else is Sour Diesel. Today's going to be the first day of flower for all the ones in the big pots. Uh, smaller pots are going to be transplanted, so I'll be counting this as their first day of veg. Uh, that'll be the six of them. It's this one, this one in the cup. Uh, that's Pheno 1 of my Sour Diesel. I think I'm only going to be cutting clone from Pheno 2. So Pheno 1 on the other side, around day 58 or 59, it starts spitting out bananas. And uh, I just I don't want to have that. So uh, I gave them a few days of darkness and I went ahead and got them down. As you guys can probably tell from that last slideshow. Yeah, this one's going to be going over. There's another little one hanging out down there. And this one right here. They'll all be moved to the other side today. And uh, I killed off a little bit of the cover crop. I'm trying to put down my fertilizer. It's my first time experimenting with the cover crop. These are white Dutch clover seeds. So I have a better idea of how it works now, so on the next run it should be a lot better. So, you know, some of them didn't make it. I do have some new ones sprouting up. So, we'll see what difference it makes and how it goes. Uh, yeah, along with those six, I also have a uh, shout out to the homie Toy Soldier. He sent me about 25 seeds get down here so we can see them and I'll pop 15 of them and uh, out of the 15 I end up with 10 uh, the strands I pop were the super grover that'll be these four and uh, crazy glue that'd be the three in the middle and New Orleans Knights that'd be the three on the back side and, uh, I'm actually glad this one started uh, started to come up. She was the last one, but the seed kind of held on to that leaf on the edge right there. And when I pulled it off, it picked off the leaf a little bit. So I was kind of worried about that one, but it it bounced back from it. The uh, New Orleans Knights is across the Tahoe OG and Sucker Free OG. The Crazy Glue is uh, Gorilla Glue number four across with the sucker free OG and the super grover is blue cookie monster across with the sucker free OG uh, the way it looks the super grover is it's kind of developing a little faster than the rest of them so I'm excited to see how she turns out uh, I don't want to disturb the plants too much with light off this phone so uh, I'll put a list of the all the stuff that I top dressed down on, and hopefully this M&M will start to bounce back and look a little better. But uh, but if not, maybe about another week or so. Once uh, once the smaller ones, the bigger ones out of the smaller ones, veg up a little, I may just bring them over and just get her out the way. We'll see how it goes. I don't want to make a mistake like I was about to make last time, cutting down half of the room, which I'm glad I didn't. And uh, these two down here, my personal favorite strand, they're just going to be going into some uh, one gallon pots and uh, just chilling and veg with me for a while. They veg slow. I really want to try to, that's why I want to try my hand at breeding so I can learn to breed traits that I don't want out of strands so I want to cross that with something that will make it veg faster it has a decent flower time but not typical and it also holds its weight pretty good so I just want to breed that weak veg out of there so we'll uh, go up and take a look at the other side and I'll show you guys the pots and stuff that these are going to be going in and I'll go ahead and get them transplanted today and I'll We'll come back and check them out on the next one. Uh, 
made it over to the other side. Uh, this is how the plants are going to be laid out this time. All the five gallon buckets are the uh, new genetics. Uh, hopefully I can get them to around a foot tall by the end of the month and go ahead and flip them just to see how they how they grow and how they smoke and the different phenols that I get and I'll take my clones from there. Uh, hopefully we get a good ratio of male to females. And uh, now that I look at it, I may just give these other two two five gallon buckets and just put them on the end right here and just fill this room on out. And that way everything in the veg area will either be a seedling or a clone. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, we're going to get these transplanted and I'm also going to be uh, uh, bringing in the reservoir and stuff today too. So yeah, we're going to get back to it. As always, you guys be careful. Stay safe out there. And we got more videos and updates coming soon.